guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. You will have a 10 minute workout for your abs. It's gonna be 10 exercises with 45 seconds of work followed by 15 seconds of rest. Shout out to my brother Spencer who will be joining us for this 10 minute workout. You don't need any equipment, maybe a mat or a towel to make the ground soft. I'll see you during the workout. All right, team, we're about to get started. Spencer and I already did this workout once because I accidentally forgot to start my microphone. So this is our second take. We got 10 minutes on the clock. Our first exercise is a plank up down. You ready, Spencer? Let's get it started. So palms under shoulders. You can either have toes curled under or you can have your knees down. We're gonna lower one forearm, then the other, then press back up and switch sides. Lower the forearm and the other and press back up. Trying to keep your hips level. So if you feel like you're really wobbly, you can drop those knees down and think about making your back nice and straight all the way from the crown of the head to either the knees or the heels. Like a plank, right? It's a well-named exercise. Keep going, alternating sides. Belly pulling in tight, protect that low back. 10 seconds to go. <sighs> up, up, down, down. Good, our next exercise is gonna be a side plank coming up in three, two, one, and rest. Go ahead and turn to face your screen. Drop your elbow underneath your shoulder. Make sure you're not sinking in. You're gonna press away. Option to have your bottom knee bent, stacking knees, stacking hips, arms overhead, or you can have legs straight. We're gonna dip it down and lift it up. Here we go, 45 seconds. Down and up. <laughs> Boy, these burn round two, don't they, Spencer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is working the side body. I told you all in the first video that you didn't see how this works your love handles. The QL, your quadratus lumborum. Think about trying to make a rainbow right here. Your ribs are going to really lift up. So getting into that side body. Tomorrow when you wake up and do a couple little twists, you're probably going to feel this one. This is the one that always makes me sore, lifting and lowering. Just a tiny little tap. Don't rest on the bottom. Pick them right back up. You got five seconds. We are gonna stay on this side. Two and one. Lower your hips, take your bottom arm out on a diagonal, and then you're gonna take your top arm, brace the back of your head for support, drag your knees in, stack them, it's a V up. Option here to just crunch your knee toward your shoulder or the full up, reaching for your toes. Ready, let's go. 45 seconds. Either that modified V up, exhaling at the top, or you can take the full V up. So whenever you lengthen your levers, like your legs and arms a little longer, you're gonna increase intensity. You're asking for a little more force from your core. Working those obliques, those V-shaped muscles. Excellent, you guys have about 20 seconds left. Remember, you can work at your own pace. Feel free to take a break before the 45 if you need it. Only if you need it, right? Not if you want it. 10. Use that breath. It's okay to push through your bottom elbow. Totally fine. Three, two, and rest. Nice job. Go ahead and flip it around. Other side, side plank. Flop it around. <laughs> it's more like it. Elbow under shoulder. Make sure you're bracing through that shoulder so you're not hunching. You can stack the knees and bottom knee can bend to make it a little bit easier. A little harder, bottom leg straight. Here we go, hip dips. Down and up. Side two, really lifting. Rainbow those hips up. I have my top arm to the sky, uh, but to be honest, you could even have it on your hip if you'd like. I just like that, it gives me a little more balance. Pressing up out of that bottom forearm. If you find that that feels like a little too much for your shoulder, feel free that you can lower to your back and do some oblique crunches instead. But what we do on one side, we generally wanna do that on the other side, unless you have an injury that you're trying to take care of today. Do your best to work out as balanced as possible. Life is asymmetric though, so I know that all of us are not symmetric. Do your best. Five, three, two, and rest. Whew, hallelujah. <laughs> Bottom arm is gonna come out diagonal. Top hand supporting the back of the head. Drag your knees in a little bit. It's our V up, you have the option to modify, or if you wanna go full V up, straight arm, straight leg. Ready, set, here we go. V ups on your second side. So I'm doing a couple of the modified, really trying to bring my shoulder up towards my knee, feeling that tension in my core. If you want to try that advanced version, we got Spencer in the back doing the full V up, really balancing on your bottom hip, exhaling through the top. You're halfway. Come on, come on. 
You didn't come this far to only come this far. Let's get it done. Only 10 minutes to a stronger core. About 10 seconds left. With good four, make sure you're giving quality reps over quantity. For five, preparing to roll to our back in two. And one, roll it onto your back. You got 15 seconds rest and I'll just demo the next move. Front leg closest to me is gonna extend. Hands behind the back of the school like a crunch position. Reach your back arm towards your front ankle. Lower it in line with your hips. Single leg bridge, and that's one rep. Here we go, oblique crunch in line with the hips, bridge up. So an option here, if you're finding those single leg bridges to be like too much, you can always do a little knee bend, put the foot down, double leg bridge. So this is kind of a modified version, double leg bridge. You might even just take it into an oblique crunch. And there's nothing wrong with modifying. I modify stuff all the time. So I want you to work out safely so that you can keep returning to your workout day after day. Because what happens if you get injured? You're not gonna work out for a while. So I'd rather you work out the intensity that is safe for you. Five seconds, come on. And rest. So this leg is gonna stay up. Bottom foot plants, arms down by your sides. Really brace your core here so there's no room under your low back. You're gonna draw some circles in the sky. We have this move from Pilates, single leg circles. Three, two, one, here we go. Single leg circles. So Spencer's showing the harder option. You can take the leg a little bit lower, working on gravity here. Spence, gravity, long levers. If you want to make it a little bit bigger, I like that stretch right there, opening up through the hip. Very difficult. If you want to make it a little bit easier, bend that knee and just circle your knee. Imagine you have a paintbrush on your knee. You're still going to engage those deep, deep core muscles. Think about pressing your arms into the mat. Let's go the opposite way for good measure. Let's get both sides there. Circle it around other way. So the range of motion and the height completely up to you. We're thinking about pressing your transverse abdominis, your deepest core that muscle, down into the mat. And rest. Nice job. All right, side two. You ready, Spencer? Side two, you're gonna lengthen that leg out, hands behind the back of your skull. It's an oblique crunch, knees glued together, single leg bridge. Ready? And begin. Here it is, 45 seconds. Lift. Now I'm gonna demo that option. If you wanna modify this, bend your knee, plant your feet, both legs bridge. So one oblique crunch on one side, double leg bridge. The harder option though is to keep that leg elevated so that it's always under tension there. Now a common mistake I see on crunches is letting your elbows leave like this and pulling your neck. See if you can try to lean with your shoulder and really get your back up off the mat there. So curling through the shoulder blades up off the mat. Woo, yeah, that intensified right there. Nice twist for five. And rest. Same leg is gonna stay up, but arms gonna go down by your sides for support. Really root your triceps into the mat. You can either point your toe, flex your toe. It circles. Lower is harder, higher a little easier. Ready, set, begin. Single leg circles. I want you to choose the range of motion that challenges you. Think about pressing your back into the floor. Fuse it into the mat. So if I were to come and try to slide my hand underneath your low back, I couldn't, there's no room, because you're creating intra-abdominal pressure. And if you get any cracking or popping in your hip, just modify your range of motion. So make it a smaller circle, maybe a little higher. Maybe you bend your knee. Let's go the other way for good measure. Reverse it. So obviously, if you go here and faster, you're going to find more challenge because it throws you off, and you're trying to stay still in the middle here in your core. Smaller, tiny ones, a little bit easier. Three two and rest all right next move here we have a oh it's our last move hooray you're gonna crunch up to your shins make a t drop your shins to me pull them up and then we'll do the same thing to the back starting in three two one here we go crunch up make a t knees to the side exhale pull do it again crunch to the shins make a t drop the other way and exhale, squeeze. So I'm gonna offer a couple options here. If your knees are closer to your chest like this, like a ball, it's easier. If your knees are farther from your chest, so kind of push them away, think like a tabletop, 
it's harder. So experiment with that, with how close your knees are. And smile because you're almost done. You only have about 15 seconds left of work. Let's see if we can get a few more quality repetitions in. Exhale, lift. Woo, get those shoulder blades off. Let's get even. Finish strong, the knee drop to both sides. Last one. And rest. Woo, -hoo -hoo. nice job. What are you doing? All right, rock and roll yourself on up to the top here. Cross your ankles over and just swing them behind you. We're gonna take a little ab stretch. So baby cobra or full cobra, whatever feels best in your body. Stretch out the core. Oh, need that, huh? Beautiful. So thank you guys so much for joining us. We appreciate you working out with us today. Give your workout partner a high five. Give yourself a high five and have a great rest of your day.